sometimes I get an, a difficult order uh, to fulfill um, only because the person uh, is from another country uh, doesn't understand uh, the English language fully and uh, eventually I worked out that uh, he wanted six DVDs and so I wrote them down and I gave him the price and then he sent me a moneygram for the uh, DVDs because uh, he didn't uh, have a PayPal and, and uh, quite honestly it, it is difficult from a foreign country sometimes not always I've gotten PayPal payments through from Japan and you know in Russia and places like that and I use Avery uh, labeling for my uh, DVDs as you see I've already made one label and uh, getting ready to make another one here and uh, it's uh, just a good program because you store everything online and uh, that's uh, a good thing if somebody had told me 20 years ago I'd be corresponding with a an Italian who speaks nothing but Italian I'd say you're crazy but you can right click on your screen and click translate to English and everything's automatically translated and that's how I communicate with the gentleman I have a program on line from Avery that allows me to print my labels and these are my labels I'm gonna change the view of them this is on my hard drive this these uh, labels so clay to bronze uh, that's the first one so that's uh, and then I just click uh, open and up comes the uh, design and print online and this is the uh, label I designed for uh, my clay to bronze which is a tour of over six years uh, of uh, boundary tours that I videoed uh, so it's, I, I click uh, preview and print now I'm only going to print one label it, it comes up with uh, print all which would uh, print on one sheet of labels the uh, way you see it here but I only need one label so I go print from and then I change that to one one of one and as you see it changes the uh, label layout and I'm going to print now don't save open and here's uh, the print page and I click print the labels have some arrows at the bottom of the page when you load the paper into the pay uh, the printer you load it with those arrows pointing down now I peel this uh, label off this may be hard to do one hand I may have to put down the camera and do this but uh, yep gonna have to and peel it off you know you have the right uh, sheet for the uh, printing of the uh, labels when you have a perfectly round border of overprint because uh, that's what you want you want all the label on the label not partial now I put it onto the uh, stomper that they provide or you can buy I take the DVD and put it on the stomper the uh, label is perfectly aligned uh, on the bottom and I just tap it like that turn it over and then I press all this down and make sure it's sticking perfectly to the label now I take uh, a clear case and I place the uh, DVD in the case and now I'm ready to print the label of uh, the cover and all that other stuff that goes with uh, each DVD that's just number one of six so I'll come back after I'm done with all that okay this is a information uh, sheet that I uh, 
have uh, put inside each case. Thank you for uh, buying the DVD. I tell you a little bit about me, and and then I even put some of the uh, websites you can go to for different things, and I cited it at the bottom. But anyway, I uh, this is in Print Master Gold again, or Print Master, and uh, open project. And these are all my projects, and this is uh, the the uh, shipping label here. These are the uh, uh, each one of the case covers, all laid out and ready to go. And receipt for your purchase. I make two of them so that I can, you know, staple one onto the uh, printed uh, order, and then a certificate of authenticity, and of course there's the uh, uh, information sheet that I sent out. I'm going to open up the uh, certificate and uh, and this is what I'll uh, uh, put together for each DVD that you get. I take all the uh, page layouts and, and in this case I'm taking three at a time and uh, then I cut it on my cutter. This is all trimmed down. Now this is a cover I don't need but uh, these are the covers I do. I put little lines around the uh, border in the uh, layout so that I can line up, put it underneath the uh, cutter and line up the lines so that I can cut the uh, covers perfectly every time. I can't show you me doing it because I'm using one hand to video and one, both hands to do the job, but I slip the uh, cover in uh, between the uh, clear plastic uh, sleeve and the case. All right, I've got the uh, plastic uh, sleeve filled with my printed label cover, cover, and I've got the uh, I have the uh, backbone perfectly aligned so that when I close it, that uh, title of what it is is right there on the edge, so that if you put it on a shelf, you can see what you're picking up. And there's the case. Now the next thing to go in is all the other material. All right, this is the last uh, uh, DVD that I'm putting together for the gentleman. And as you can see, I, I don't know if you can see it, there's an embossment on this certificate. I've been putting on my certificate since 1977. Same embosser. Anyway, um, signature, everything like that on in a certificate of authenticity. Uh, they get they get that sheet with all the information on it uh, as well. Uh, there were six DVDs. I'm only putting these things in here. The only thing that I put in each DVD is a certificate, but uh, I only need one of these in one DVD, and that's the uh, last one I'm putting together. So I'm done with those six DVDs, and uh, next thing I need to do is fill out a uh, declaration of uh, customs declaration and uh, that goes uh, with the uh, DVDs for Italy that goes for any out-of-country uh, shipments that I make now I got one more thing to do because uh, the gentleman bought more than one DVD he gets a, a pen sketch from me I don't know how much they're worth, but uh, it's got to be worth something. I don't think. I decided to draw this mountain man, but I didn't know that my camera wasn't on. It turned itself off. I didn't like the drawing of the uh, horse, and so I decided to draw this uh, figure of a mountain man uh, to replace that, and I'm going to cut it down, trim it down so it can fit inside one of the cases, and uh, get this off uh, to the gentleman in Italy. 
All right, good night, everybody. I hope you understand how much work goes into producing these DVDs and uh, what I do to do that. And you can order uh, these DVDs or as many as you want, uh, up to eight. And uh, you can do that by just following the instructions in the uh, entry down there below the uh, YouTube video. All right, good night, everybody.